Alexander Trusova congratulated Margarita Basiliuk for performing a cascade of two quads. But Trusova wrote on the social network. Margarita Basiliuk told how she decided to perform a cascade of two quadruple jumps. Basiliuk is the first in the history of women's figure skating to jump 4-4. I want to thank everyone who attended these competitions. They supported me very much. I'm very happy. I want to thank all the fans. Unusual competitions. After the first round you go back on the ice, then you leave, then you go back out again. You are emotionally tired, but you feel that you can still do it. A unique cascade of two quadruple sulk house. I don't train him all the time. I did it twice during evening training. I went with an empty hat and it worked out. Is it possible to insert it into the program? I would really like to show it at competitions. But it seems to me that it is better to do two solo sulk house, because you will get more points than for a cascade. What are your expectations from tomorrow's tournament? I now live one day at a time. I didn't think anything about tomorrow. I wanted to qualify today, that's all. I had to do my best, and then the judges themselves would evaluate me," said the skater. Adelia Petrosyan said that she was very tired at the last stage of the Russian Jumping Championship. The figure skater took second place in the tournament. I'm glad that the personal tournament is over, we lost a lot of strength, but we also received a lot of positive emotions. During the last stage, where we did five cascades, I was more tired than during the free program I was running from one end to the other, trying to add elements. It was interesting for me to participate in these competitions. Unfortunately, I wasn't there that year, and this is a new event for me. I thank the audience, my mother and the coaches who supported us and pushed us, so that we managed to do all the elements. And also the Russian Figure Skating Federation, which creates tournaments where we can show that our athletes are the best in the world. I hope we get even more emotions tomorrow, I think it will be interesting and loud. We have two very fun, positive and supportive captains. It doesn't matter which team I end up in, I will do my best. All my previous teams were red. Maybe the tradition will continue, maybe not. Patterson said. Elena Kostoliva spoke about her participation in the Russian Jumping Championship. The figure skater became the bronze medalist of the competition. Naturally, for me to compete in such competitions is a huge experience. It's very cool when you perform and the audience supports you. This is my first time participating in something like this, and I really enjoyed it. How did you find the strength to continue performing after a painful fall? I don't know, strength comes on its own, especially in competitions, you do it on some kind of adrenaline. You can't stop after a painful fall, you have to go and do it. I'm very interested in how it will be in the team tournament, I think tomorrow will be very cool," Kostoliva said. Kozlovsky spoke about the confrontation with Galyamov in the role of team captains. Alexander Galyamov and Dmitry Kozlovsky, performing in pair skating, are captains at the Russian Jumping Championship. The team tournament will take place on January 21st. Kozlovsky. What will happen tomorrow? Fight, haha. Ha. But I hope it doesn't come to a fight. We have no plans for this. Galyamov. So that the seven of us don't hold back. Kozlovsky. Sasha and I discussed this. It seems to me that we have an interesting rivalry. We are both strong athletes and have amazing partners to help us. We are already adults, with certain credentials, principled rivals. It seems to me that the opposition of some teams should be built around such figures, if we already get to the choice of captains. Dmitry Kozlovsky shared his impressions of the Russian Jumping Championship. 2020 European champions in pair skating Alexandra Pikova and Dmitry Kozlovsky won silver. They tried to perform a quadruple throw three times, all attempts were unsuccessful. I like it. I especially enjoyed it when Sasha performed the quadruple throw. I can say that Sasha is a great fellow, I think that if it were not for her desire, not for her desire to conquer new quadruple heights, I would hardly be the person who would force my partner to such actions. No, really, Sasha did a great job here, when at the end of the tournament she said, Dima, let's go do a quadruple throw in public, I had already resigned myself, and simply accompanied her on an adventure called a quadruple salkow trip. This series continues tomorrow. In general, in principle, this tournament is unique in its kind. Both in terms of intensity and some unexpected turns. I think it deserves to be watched by more and more viewers. You asked about the sounds when the timer started ticking, this was the only thing that distracted. 
We were just entering the quadruple throw, I said. Sash, disconnect from time. Kozlowski said. First of all, we went to have fun. This is the only tournament of the season where you don't skate the program and don't strain yourself. I made an element and enjoyed it, making the audience happy. I wanted to make a quadruple throw on my birthday and please the audience. We went out in training several times, and we take it calmly, but today it didn't work out. I hope everything works out tomorrow. Initially they planned a quadruple in the final. They also wanted to do a loop loop snipe snipe, but before the final the coaches told me to do a Salkow snipe snipe. We need to rebuild. Apparently, she didn't change her mind. Dakova added. Anastasia Messina appreciated the performance at the Russian Jumping Championship. The rules of the tournament are different from regular competitions, every mistake is costly. The tours are not cumulative, and the situation cannot be corrected. Errors appear immediately, they are immediately visible in this course. That's why flights happen. For me there was no feeling of competition, it was very similar to the training process we constantly train our ligaments, this was not unusual for us. We lost by a small margin, ended up third, no big deal. Messina said. The Russian Jumping Championship will be held from January 19 to 21 in Moscow at the CSK Arena. Elizaveta Osakina and Artem Bursenko won the Russian Jumping Championship. Alexander Bikova and Dmitry Kozlowski won silver. Arseny Fedotov spoke about his victory at the Russian Jumping Championship. The main thing for me was to do my own thing, and I succeeded. How important is this championship? For a million rubles. Actually, I didn't expect to go this far. The prizes motivate. Of course, but I don't spend them myself. When I found out that I was in the finals, I figured out in my head that I would jump and agreed on it with the coaches. Fedotov said. How did you decide which jumps I would do in the finals? When the semi-final ended and I found out that I was in the final, I immediately thought in my head that I would jump. What did the older guys say? They just congratulated and shook hands. Wada has not yet received a contribution from Russia for 2023. This was reported by the press service of the World Anti-Doping Agency. The 2023 fee has not yet been successfully transferred to WADA, the spokesperson said. WADA expects to receive a contribution from Russia in the amount of $1,267,000 in 2023. In November, the Ministry of Sports of the Russian Federation stated that Russia does not refuse to pay the contribution and is ready to implement it in full if a universal funding formula is determined or if such a formula is not formed then in the amount decided by the Russian side.